Back. Chill. You still got stitches in your face. You kicked it. What happened? It's late. Was it like 3 30? Yeah. When did they say they were coming to do that shit for the apartment now? You left that paper, but I don't, I don't know what you said. Either. I don't know. <laughs> Great. So one one day this week, someone's just gonna bust into my apartment to fix yeah. some shit. Nice. Maybe it's still on those people down. I'd have them replace these. Like, oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Was going nice. Down. All right. I like that chair. Not mine. Oh, <laughs> it's not. It was just in here. Yeah. Got an elevator and it's just in. I wonder if someone's moving and they just like they can just leave it there or something. Yeah, they didn't usually lock. you lock down the. Yeah. They were doing it higher. So. Oh, oh more chairs. Here. <laughs> cold now. Yeah, it's fucking brick. You're crazy. Okay. I'm not going up there tomorrow. Well, you think it'll be too cold? No, it's supposed to warm up. Serious. I just think it's gonna be crazy up there tomorrow, honestly. Ever. Dude, look at all those squirrels around that fucking. It's like the squirrel master squirrel out there. Master. Yeah. Look at him, he's feeding them. That's why. Know. It's crazy. Or it's a girl. And the guy walking thinks I'm in like NSA because yeah. I'm fucking yeah. out the camera. Hey, yeah. girl, we're not <laughs> recording you either. Keep no. going, even though your booty's cracking. Your booty's bad. cracking and you're funny. Your dog is funny, but this was, you were not the subject of my film today. Remember, police, keep it moving. You ain't either. I don't want to hear shit. I'm not feeling good. Y'all can suck it. All y'all. <laughs> All y'all can suck it. Yeah. Oh my god, I woke up so late. Dude. I woke up and I couldn't believe it. It's like it's 12. I know. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I hit you a few times and then I was like, uh, I hit you at 9.30, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the shop for a little, I'll probably run late, no answer. Then I hit you at 10.30, then I call you. Then, then I send you the wrong text message and that's when you finally responded. Yeah. You're like, what? And I'm like, oh. Terrible. Uh, Feeling all right now, I guess. You know what I fear in my life with this vlog? Um, I watched this snowboard pro camp vlog, right? Dude's pretty cool, but his one friend is so, like, not funny mm. at all. Tries to be, and I don't think I try to be funny, mm. but I just, I see him and I'm like, man, there must be some people who don't like me that I come off as that guy, like, bricked looking away, and I hear this dude's voice come in, and he's like, <laughs> all right, let me, and I'm just like, oh, I have to literally turn it off. Like, I'm like, I feel bad for the snowboard guy because. You're telling me that I should cut you out of the vlog? No, 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 no. No, I'm not saying me, but I'm saying that's my fear. My my deep down fear is like, don't be that dude. <laughs> like, don't be that mm, guy. Just be yourself. It's okay. No, well, that's who I am, and that's my point. I think that guy's himself too. He's but that's just, why it annoys you. What that he's. It's your like recognition in another in another person. It's like a reflection. You're annoyed because that's your fear. You're projecting your fear. That's why yeah. you're annoyed. It's because you're afraid that you can be annoying. It's true. You just gotta slow down and just be like. I don't really care. And my wife tells me I'm annoying every day. Mm, yeah, well, you know, you are. <laughs> but it's okay. Everybody's annoying. Yeah. Really Anybody annoying. that you got to fucking be around all the time is going to annoy you, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't care who it is. Yeah, Funny. so we're going. So we have a, uh, I guess it's a surprise drop. No one really knows about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess a surprise. I surprise. And we're just going to drop them, but we did a holy holly, whichever you like to say because I have been hit up multiple times about the pronunciation, but I have seen and heard it said both ways. So, the Holy Holly Festival, Holly, Holly. I'll just edit both. Yeah. Um, we did a t-shirt to kind of go with those. Yeah. We don't have the capability, so there's this uh, these other guys that we use sometimes who are local and friends of ours at Superior. We're going by and we're going to check out and see how it's going. Make this sure was supposed to be good. part of uh, the last drop, but we wanted to perfect the artwork. Yeah, yeah, the first time we tried to do it, it looked crazy. So now, it should look good. We're gonna go find out. And that is pretty much the day, because I feel like shit. I should have the black pharrells at that house when I get there. Nice. Hopefully. Boom, boom, superior. Oh, look at those mountains. I see it. Look at the mountains. <laughs> like some shit Elmo used to say, isn't it? Like Elmo quote? Baby. <laughs> the way that voice is. You're the new Elmo. Like 
You're a fucking 2018 Elmo. Elmo 2K. Look at this. Look at this crack now, huh? Oh shit! It fucking yeah. spray like a mother. Yeah. I didn't even notice. Yeah, uh, I did it either till I got in. I think it was in last night's storm with the hot, with the warm, the vloggers, cold weather. The vloggers is hating on you. I don't want to see you out here shining, bro. Yeah. I fucking found out he was driving, pushing the V dub, and they were like. Shh. Let's see you push it around so cocky with that crack. Can't push cocky with that crack, boy. Dude. They want to see you in it, don't. I don't care. I like crack. I don't oh. smoke crack, motherfucker. I oh. sell it. This is different. A little traffic? A little left merge here into this, and then I gotta... No. No? Okay. Alright. <laughs> so fucking dope. What? <laughs> uh... I wrote a loom, I gave fucking him a piece of paper. I gave Sager the sketch and it said, um, it said Illuminati on it. And he says, I'm just trying to put this together because you said Illuminati. <laughs> that's, so, that's so fucking awesome. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man. Are you gonna use it? Fuck yeah, that's so funny. But that's not even what you meant. <laughs> I just wrote Illuminati. I don't know why I wrote it. I wrote it for something. There's like a little sketch at the bottom. Yeah. No idea what it is. Because that's the way I draw. I just sit around and I'll just do other stuff and then like little ideas come in my head. I have to do different things. Like I'll walk around the room, I'll go take a shower. I just like yeah. have to like almost do so much that I don't not really doing anything. And yeah. then an idea pops in my head and sometimes I just write down a word and then a little doodle with it, but I have no idea what the fuck this doodle is. It's with it. I used to happen out eat mushrooms. I would leave pieces of paper and markers everywhere. <laughs> I get all these ideas and I'd write them down and then I go back into my fucking trip and <laughs> write them down and wake up the next morning and oh, some of it would make sense, but a lot of it I was like, I have no idea yeah. what the fuck. When I was in New Mexico, I woke up for a mushroom trip and I was laying on top of like my bed, but there was a paper bag. I had written on it, fear of the unknown, <laughs> like scribbly green handwriting. I think I posted it on my Instagram a long ass time ago. I was flying over myself. Like I was being guided by like this little fucking, fucking rainbow guide. And I was flying over myself. Are here. Yeah, it was a crazy trip. Okay. All right, now, we're gonna die in traffic. Yeah, but they know they make shoes the same way now. Yeah, so it's all it's like, Yeah, it's all cool. Yeah, it's super soft. It's organic cotton, oh. the recycled plastic, and then modal, which is a beach one. Okay. It's an alternative to rayon. Okay. Rayon's like what gives the garments the stretch, but it's like the dirtiest process of manufacturing. Gotcha. So the beach wood's like a cleaner alternative to that. Cool, it's super soft. Yeah, it's good it quality out. shit. I'll check it out. And you're going to start using this a lot more? Uh, yes, yeah, so we found it. We're a co-founder of the company. Okay. So that's why I was in Haiti just now. Like, okay. Cool factory workers from Gildan and like we pay five times minimum wage. We'll go have lunch with them, break that whole stigma, like get them all like stoked on what we're doing. Cause dude, people, subsidies and all this shit, Haiti's a rich company, yeah. like country, but it's, nobody sees it. Yeah, it's like yeah. one of the poorest countries in the world, like from the bottom up, trying to like kind of break that cycle. Cool, but it's man. dope to have like a cool. bigger story than just like your t-shirt. Yeah, you I'm know? just making like, t-shirts, yeah. Well, that leads you to one place. Exactly. You had to start making t-shirts to be led to Haiti, the home of Kodak Black. Free Kodak. Hi. Yeah, I'll take a water. I'm good. My involvement in All Made as a founder is like, one, we have to hit like certain quantity breaks or push certain volume throughout the year to vest. Right, so if it's if we don't vest, then it's just like you know, it's still a good mission because it's good shit. But right, you're making an impact, but you're not able to like keep it growing and keep it going. Exactly. Because yeah, dude, we're up against conglomerates that have a hundred mil yeah, inventory, for sure. and people who are used to doing the same thing. You still have to turn people on. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You have to turn them on to the idea. Of, yeah, that's great and all, but I this, I you know, I'm just gonna go with what I already did. You know, like yeah. you have like. There has to be a reason for people to like their head out and do yep. something different. We do like 15% on all made, so we make way less money, but it's a better quality product. And it's the way to like supplement this commodity market. I got you. Get this like into the industry, make less money, but for a small amount of time until we can get our inventory. Yeah, but you're growing deeper. it in. Yeah, you're growing exactly. that brand in. That's smart. It's a smart way. Kind of making that the base model. Yeah. Like if you want to use anything else, it's going to cost you differently. Exactly. 
two films out of pocket from our Haiti trips, like mm -hmm. learning the whole story and explaining it to the consumer. Mm -hmm. Start doing these documentary films, but we have no connections in the distribution. Okay. Like if we could work this into the Blue Scott story, I'm not sure that like- You want us to go to Haiti? Yeah, oh, Is that where you're going with this? We'll come to Haiti, yeah. Doing like something that works into the ethos of beyond dope artwork. I don't feel like there's any way to get people invested other than to invest them. And so that is where it comes in to go there and vlog there and you know vlog even the experience and you know the same experience you had of the awakening and being like mm -hmm. holy shit and then when that is transmitted through the vlog and on YouTube for other mm -hmm. people that creates that. Like our generation is like so caught up in these platforms there's so much fucked up shit happening mm -hmm. fuck it I'm gonna yeah. turn the whole game over and not even contribute. Take that philosophy and ethos like out of their way of thinking and say I'm not gonna fix economics and politics yeah. I'm gonna fix myself right. and in doing that that ripples out. You can fix one little thing around you like just concentrate on one thing you know and one purpose instead of all these other things because it gets you get bombarded you open Facebook or yep. Twitter or whatever bombarded with politics and then sexual assaults and this mm -hmm. and this and then the oh, world's fucked up yep. and then you go inward and you, it's like drinking poison every yep. morning you know what I mean how can cr we create change with what we already know well, right. we know shit out of apparel so like right. let's educate the consumer on like the differences and yeah, yeah, that's cool. who knew that it takes 500 gallons of water to make one shirt at the end of the day like what is my purpose and it's a lot of times it's from consumerism and a monetary value but yeah. when you say like my purpose is beyond making money or setting trends it's to make differences with myself and that ripples out to the to the friends and family and that ripples out you and longevity just... and fucking the adaptation like you start you already did the thing where you're like i'm gonna support my family off garment like that was your first goal like mm -hmm. you did that you know it's like okay now i have that and it's like i want to get into this big warehouse all right now you did that it's like, i want to get all these customers and be backed up have a certain amount of employees you did that like moving the pieces around of the puzzle and now you're like okay where is my actual real purpose here mm -hmm. and then you're finding that it seems like you're trying to change the way people think about what they make mm -hmm. and how they make it and the impact that it has when they do that. 100%. Yeah, so I mean, that's cool. It's just like 100%. the evolution of your uh, Of your existence. identity and yeah, your business. Yeah, 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 it's cool. The it's philosophy super cool. of your business. And we had a similar discussion this morning. What? Just about how you evolve as a person in your business. That question of what's your purpose is so incredibly hard to answer, yeah. but if you just start well, with When you like, get older, I think it gets easier. Uh, yeah, you're like, my purpose shit, is, you know? my purpose is, it's what drives me to do what I'm already doing, but do it in a better way right, right, right. that you can live with. Yeah, it's hard when you're younger though, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like you said, you're 28 now. When I was like 26 to 30 is when things started to, I started to become more and more self-aware. And, mm -hmm. and I even got mad at myself. Mm -hmm. Like, why didn't I realize this about myself before? You know, and then you start realizing shit like that. It's not just you. And that your things that you do impact other motherfuckers around yeah. you, you know, like greatly. So you can't fix everything. I donate money to one cause, I can't donate money to every cause. way on it look at that though look so there's no way that's his wrong way and then we just gotta turn around you can't even go out look that's his wrong way too All right, for the camera oh, maybe that's for the that's for that then oh yeah that is for that. okay sorry which, that's which is still confusing yeah. because it's on our side so we just tweeted me the robots edibles they're like let's see what all the hype's about and i was like see ya because <laughs> he's got a thousand milligrams I'm like you're done that. sir it's all the self-driving car the uber self-driving car hit somebody last night no it, it's someone walking someone walking a lady walking outside of a crosswalk was hit struck and killed by the self-driving car well, if she was in the crosswalk would she, she was not there? in the crosswalk but if she was would it i don't the know the car have been like whoa that hasn't really been said because i don't think it's like the car's nose to stop at crosswalks. I think that it was probably dark and it didn't see the person, but I, that's just like what's in the article and I think that's to allude. I think that's well-written poli politics to make your mind go to this thing like, yeah, you should have been in the crosswalk. It suggests to you that someone should have been in the crosswalk to not be hit. Yeah. Fair. Fair point. Yeah. Like, I get it, but that's not necessarily. Also, people are like, oh, this is going to be the end of self-driving cars. And I'm like, wait no, a second. First, this is the first person that's ever been hit by one. I'm like, literally, someone's going to hit every 10 minutes. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, like if you made a graph, you know, yeah. of the fucking people in that hour around the world that got hit by a car. Yeah. There's one self-driving, and I'm guaranteeing there's at least 50 yeah. of the other. So it's pretty interesting. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go with the traffic. Yeah. El Trafico. Not today, bitch. Not today. I'm taking a fucking another route. Oh, I'm home. I'm home. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Drop that ball. <laughs> mm. Get it. That was very passive. Oh. Now we obsess. Can I film some stuff? Can I film some stuff? I'll be doing in a second. All right, so um, kind of a weird day. Late start, started off not feeling well, and now just kind of running behind because everything started behind. I did get the box in, so one pair of Pharrell's Kia. Uh, this is a black pair. And this actually happened by chance. So I got my pairs of Pharrell's. Shout out to the motherfucking plugs. Yeah, so this gentleman hit me up via DM and said, hey, I won the raffle for the black pair. I know you're probably good, but if you want for retail, I will get you your pair. As I'll give you my pair just for the videos and da 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 da. But yo man, cool, it'll be as honest, like yeah, it'll be a double up. If you wanna make your money, make your money. Obviously you can sell them for more. He didn't wanna do that, sent me the pair anyway. Here we are. So this is actually my first black pair coming in. So I have a couple of them. Nice. Come on, you wanna go back to box two or what, dude? Are you recouped enough? Oh, you decide. Can we fit this looking like? We're back. Take that. Hmm. Human race box. I'd be like, I want to like tell a guy, yeah, do I came Matt. Well, this is not the pair that I thought, so that's for sure. Let me make sure this is who. Okay, so I'm just tripping, I guess. There, I just checked the DMs. There was literally no mention of it being the black pair. I don't know why I thought it was the black pair. So uh, I guess I have a double of this pair now, so, which is fine because I like them all. Oh, kith receipt, so you know it's real. Chill with this, actually cool because I want to see the different patterns that I get on the different pairs that I've popped. So, shall be cool. Nice. So yeah, I got a nice little double up on this one. These came in. We'll take a look at one of these tomorrow. D, thank you, sir. Much appreciated, even though I did not know which pair I bought, apparently. And then, so the shoe we're gonna look at today, which is fitting after going to see going to see Dom at Superior, and hearing about his trip to Haiti, you know, basically water conservation, how much water it takes for us to produce the things, reducing our carbon footprint. I know I use straws and all kinds of like stuff. I create a lot of trash. I am not gonna sit here and pretend as if I'm the most, um, I'm not Captain Planet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. I'm pretty sure my carbon footprint is enormous. But with that being said, cool conversation. It will be super cool to go experience something new if we end up going to Haiti over it and filming, and that'd be an awesome experience, like super, super cool. So I look forward to it, and I look forward to maybe trying to get educated on uh, how we could do things a little better, especially with what I'm doing with the amount of shirts that we sell, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see, we'll see how it all goes. We'll see how the story unfolds. Part of today's story is the parlay. City so I got these off adidas.com. First order off Adidas in a while. I got these for 50% off, which makes them just a steal. The retail on them, I think, was like 220. So I got them for like 110. Amazing. Uh, I love City Sock ones. Most of you guys know that I love love this model. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I don't think that the City Sock has been completely just like overdone. There's still what like less than 10, I think. And this one is the most like the OG model that we've gotten. Uh, it's basically the same, and this is what that shoe looks like. The main difference, obviously just being the color, but essentially, let me make this 
easier for y'all. But essentially, they are the same shoe, just a different color, and obviously they've used different materials because this is the Parlay version. If you don't know about Parlay, an effort to use recycled materials to make products this product being a shoe. Fabrics of the shoe are made with recyclable materials, therefore reducing that carbon footprint and you know helping save the oceans, ocean life, and uh, you know compensate for the fuckery that us humans are doing to the earth and the environment. That's the main draw to the shoe. If you already have this shoe, then you probably don't really even, you know, unless you're like me and you just want all of them, you probably don't care. This shoe's pretty hard to get. Like these sell for a lot of money. That one's crazy right now. And I don't know what they are for now, but when they came out, they were flying. Now, these are sitting, <laughs> they're essentially the same, and it has a, you know, and it has a great story as far as it's made with recyclable materials. You're helping, uh, you're helping that effort, which Adidas announced recently they officially sold a million pairs with recyclable materials. So it's definitely an effort. Definitely gonna see a lot more of this implemented. There's a kid's pair of Parlay Ultra Boost that's coming, super sick. It's like black. Probably the best kids, probably the best parlay ultra boost has dropped yet as far as the mids go i don't think those are actually releasing see no confirmation and they did not come over a size 12. main focus of this shoe is recyclable materials nmd cs1 is a very basic shoe i mean i don't know if you could get any more minimal my main draw to the shoe altogether there's really no branding on the shoe other than the nmd brick you know, kind of this military-esque branding on the inside which is just sort of a diagram of the shoe it tells you which shoe and which size range you're in as well as the style code same for the left shoe except it says l and then yeah so you just basically have your all ocean blue and black upper your stripes which you don't really have a three stripes but you do have a three sections which i think is a cool design technically there are one, two, three stripes. And then there's like, you know, a bunch of other ones. Dual branded Adidas and Parlay heel tab. And then the bottom of the shoe white with the blue NMD plate. So nothing crazy as far as bells and whistles. I'm just kind of happy to get a new color of a CS1, you know, close to this first one without being the exact same shoe, but you know, enough difference to where I want to cop them. And also close enough to where if you miss this shoe and you don't want to pay like four, five, six, seven hundred bucks, you can get this shoe. I'm, I fuck with it. As far as the fit goes, because it's a parlay, actually usually parlays fit a little bit tighter to me. This does not. This feels pretty much the same as the rest of the fabric may be a little more coarse. Like that would be about the only thing that I've noticed. It feels like this is raised a little bit, so your fabric is just a little bit different, but not by much. Uh, this is a little tight, but also just got it. I haven't stretched out yet. So I'm still going with 13. These are actually, my other pair is a 12 and a half, and these are perfect. It's 13, I have a little bit of room, so you probably could half size down. If you've had a City Soccer and NMD, I just go with your regular size. The only real difference is the lockdown on the City Sock just feels a little bit tighter. It's a little bit more shallow than an NMD. It doesn't seem to stretch out quite as much. Just like the, the fabric's just a little more taut, but pretty much it. But yeah, I'm super hyped to get these. And uh, you know, like I said earlier, as much as I probably definitely contribute to pollution and you know, the environment being fucked up, it's good to make somewhat of some small difference, just a little bit, but you know, other than recycle. But yeah, that is the parlay. CS1, NMD. I'm sure that they're still available somewhere. I don't think they're on adidas.com though. Um, yeah, they're not on there, dude. And there's no way that these sold out. Just like, like, they were sitting. They dropped the same day as the Pharrell's and nobody gave a fuck. Or the Wave Runners, same day as the Wave Runners, maybe. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, I don't think they're available anymore. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'd heard at one point this shoe wasn't even coming out. I don't know, man. I never know any of that stuff. I'm not, I'm not in a mafia. This is the shoe. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Good luck. I'm sure they'll pop up. That's the day. I'm out of here. It's been a crazy one. Tomorrow is also a little crazy. I think Ern's going snowboarding tomorrow. I'm not going to go because I'm just tired. I just need to like rest. I don't think going snowboarding is going to help me. So I'm going to chill. All right. I'm out of here. See you guys tomorrow.